IPv6, is this something that we really should be worrying about? First, a word from our sponsor, Networking Step by Step. Networking Step by Step offers videos called Video Cheat Sheets, configuration guides, copy and paste ready configuration examples, blogs, surveys, video blogs, and the list goes on and on. All designed to help you get down to the meat of the subject quickly. So the next time your manager asks if you know a particular technology, you can say yes and still have a life. The IETF work began in around 1990 in four different locations. Tallahassee, Florida, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Boulder, Colorado, and Vancouver, Canada. These were the four places the IETF started work on IPv6. And on all these four places, it was discussed very seriously. We were having a problem of addressing, and we would eventually run out of address space. What do we need to do to fix it? So, as most of you know, IPv4 was an experiment of the defense project. The way it came into existence was just a plain and simple experiment, and now we have it everywhere today. But IPv6 was not an experiment. The best brains in the world came together and found out what we could do to program a protocol that would last a long time. During this time, a lot of different proposals came into these smart people, and eventually they came up with IPv6, once called IPNG, or Next Generation, but now just called IPv6. So if you look at a 32-bit addressing of IPv4, we say, okay, 32-bit addresses. You do the math. It's 2 raised to the power of 32, which is around 4 billion addresses. Now this is not the addresses that you will get, this is just the theoretical limit. So really, if you look at it, a great deal of these addresses have been allocated and are being used. If you analyze the situation, the IP governing bodies are saying that we will have a depletion of IPv4 address space sometime in 2011. So what are we going to do then? Well, that is why it is time to think about IPv6 seriously. In addition, the way the application is, is being introduced, such as at the data level, the voice level, different types of applications that requires IP addressing. Those applications would require the IP addresses, and since we don't have IPv4 addresses left for those applications, so they can exist, we need to do something about it. So IPv6 is going to provide a significant amount of addresses that can be assigned to those applications. Right now, the main reason to switch to IPv6 is the depletion of the IPv4 address space. Having to sell your customers and your own management on switching to IPv6 is becoming easier and easier due to the depletion timelines. The switch is becoming necessary. This is not a feature that a product vendor is pushing. This is something that will eventually happen, and what we are being told is that it will happen in the near future. Thanks for listening to this video blog with Dale. If you like what you just heard, we hope you will drop by our web address, networkingstepbystep.com, and see the famous video cheat sheet for yourself. You should also play fair and share our web address with your friends and colleagues. Be sure to check out our archive section on our website for previous video blogs.